I would like people to see the, the beauty in, in the forgotten, in the, the, the old, in the, in the tired, in, these, in these, these places that might not be considered beautiful. Just finding, finding almost a classical beauty in, in the everyday. My name is Damian Stommer and my home is Hillsborough, North Carolina. I am an artist. I predominantly paint. I, I paint places that would rather be left alone. So there are these kind of leaning shacks and they're on their they're on their last leg. And they're tired, they're just resting in the field, and they, they've had a life. They've had all these stories in them. That's where you'd hang the tobacco, and it would just cure uh, and dry in here. They've done their work, and now they're, they're kind of fading. They're these living fossils. So where, where is this? What is this a memory of? So this is a barn uh, on South Lowell Road that's like as the crow flies, probably a mile that way. Inspiration comes from a lot of places. These are the woods right out the window where I grew up, played with my twin brother. I feel like he's a part of all this work. Later on, our, our Matt Toller of Toller's Fence moved up this hill. You could actually cut through, you could run back through the woods from our house to his house. Those are some of my fondest memories of just, just taking off down the road on our, on our bikes and not knowing, not knowing what was in store. And this old barn that is, has become so, so overgrown, you can really, you, you would pass it and you wouldn't even know it was there. I think what's so exciting about these places is, is that it's a total unknown world right inside there. You, don't, you have no idea what you're gonna find. It's like. That's a right. treasure chest. You just gotta. It is. You go in there, and it could be old stuff. It could be empty. It could be, you know, it's like a time capsule, really. My relationship with my brother is gives me a lot of strength. I sign. I actually sign every painting, D. Stommer, for Damien and Dylan because I feel like he's a part of every piece. So when you guys were kids going through the woods looking at old barns and, and tobacco barns and shanties, did you know that your work, those memories would be on the wall at the North Carolina Museum of Art? Not at all. I don't, I don't even know that I was aware enough to even dream that big, but it's funny how life works out that way. I like the idea of being able to return to a painting and find something different, find something new every time you're looking at it. The, the, the interesting thing about these places is it's such a mix between something that used to be totally cut out from nature and now nature's growing itself back in and kind of slowly taking back over. When I work, I never know exactly how the painting's going to end up. That would, to me, that would be a little bit, that would take the fun out of it. That would take the excitement out. Sometimes the act, just starting painting and the act of painting and realizing how fortunate I am to be doing what I love and what I care about and, and trying to get a little bit better every day, that can be inspiration in itself. In a way, they're, they're about my identity. I mean, they're, they're where I'm from. This is my mom and my dad, Bill. Hi. I think everyone can remember a place that's important to them uh, in childhood. But I would just say that, that there is something about, about home that, that's important to me. Mm -hmm.